Police Master Haritosh Srivastiv. I hope I've said that right, Haritosh. Haritosh joined Toastmasters in 2016 and was a member of clubs in D41 and D11, but is now a member of Basingstoke Speakers and Pioneers 17. And he is chartering, as I think he's already mentioned, uh, a global online advanced Toastmasters club. He enjoys working on his YouTube channel and new podcast. He says, in 2019, we celebrated the 85th anniversary of Pioneer 17 Toastmasters Club. It was an exciting, amazing experience to be president of the oldest club east of the Rocky Mountains and celebrating that very special moment. And to top it all, it was his HPL project and it was a fun and learning experience. Now, please give Haritosh a really warm welcome. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? Uh, okay, it's Saturday, I understand, but we can have some fun. So I'm here with PowerPoint, but we are gonna talk about pathways, specifically a little bit about electives, but we have a little more things to come. So I'm gonna start with something. If somebody says he doesn't know about this person, he needs to go to Toastmasters website is the Ralph C. Smedley, the founder of Toastmaster, and who said communication leads to discovery of so many hidden abilities. And you are part of this family. I wish you that you will discover a lot more things and Pathways allows you to do even more greater things. Now there's one more quote by Ralph C. Smedley, which I really personally love. And that is, we learn in moments of enjoyment. I hope we'll have some fun today. If it was a physical meeting, I would have gladly liked to have this cookie shared with you. But since it's an online, maybe we'll have to settle with virtual cookies. Uh, we're gonna have some cookie moments in the presentations. First of all, what is this distinguished Toastmaster? It's the highest level of educational achievement in Toastmaster. As they say, it's a symbol of excellence. We have less than 1% people who join Toastmasters go on to become distinguished Toastmaster. Now, at this moment, I would like people who are distinguished Toastmasters to either raise their hand physically or raise their hand in the chat. And let's all unmute for a moment and recognize this is the highest level. So let's give a big round of applause to all the distinguished Toastmasters present. That is an achievement we all are so proud of. Thank you. You may unmute. You may mute yourself again. We'll have some more movements on movement, hopefully. Now, we talked about what exactly is Toastmaster, but I'm going to have some riddle because we have a number of distinguished Toastmasters. I'm going to touch some of the knowledge that how much do you know about Toastmaster, uh, distinguished Toastmaster history? So we are going to have a sort of trivia. So let's see who can answer this first question. Do you know when was the first DTM issued? Let's put it in chat and let's see who knows it best. Okay, 1975, mm -hmm. Qu uh, quite close. 1924 would have been much earlier. That was just Ralph C. Smetling establishing Toastmaster, 1986. Okay, somebody got it right. Is the president of Solent Speaker. Yes, the first DTM was issued in year 1970, just 14 years before I was born. Quite a number of years. Now let's have some trivia about District 91. Now District 91, can we guess how many DTMs have been issued or awarded to District 91 members? Let's have some guess in the chat. Nineteen. Ah, that's too low. Five hundred thousand. Mm hmm. Yep, 80, uh, no, medium more. No, not 25,000 for sure. <laughs> All right, let me give you the answer. Somebody was quite close, it's 143. 
DTMs that have been awarded in District 91 since 2014. Now let's talk about current year. Now, I think you've got some fair idea about DTM. So let's guess how many DTMs for this Toastmaster year have been already issued to District 91 members. Put it in chat. Let's see who can come close to 2015. Okay, I think we are getting really good at guessing game. So we have 12 DTMs already issued in District 91. So congratulations to all the distinguished, latest distinguished Toastmaster of this year. Now, I want you to open your phone and scan this code. And if you are not able to scan, go to a website called menti.com and enter this code. I'm also gonna put a link in the chat, which will allow you to directly go to the questions. And we're gonna have some other screen sharing. All right, people are so proactive. They are already entering which path they are part of. So we have quite a level playing field going on, but leadership development is moving up. Oh my God. Oh, I didn't see the presentation mastery. Wow. Toastmaster is all about speaking better and communicating. So presentation mastery seems to be leading. Wow. Okay, we have presentation mastery and 10 more paths in pathways. Great. Now let's have some more fun and we're gonna play a small game. So if you have not, oh my God, this is the first time I see so many names coming up. So we're gonna have some real fun. Are you guys ready? All right. So you might be getting first question. This might be a simple one if you are already in pathways, but let's see who can get it fast. Is it four, five or six level in pathways? Six seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, time's up. Okay. The correct answer is there are five levels in pathways. 24 people got it right. And let's hear, let's see who was the first person. Okay, quite a close competition between Earthman and Skitch. Oh, I think it might be in a microsecond that he Skitch missed, but yeah, let's move on to the next question. And the question is, How many paths are there in pathways? This again should be simple. We just answered that. I'm hoping we'll, we'll get more correct this time. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Mm -mm. There are 11 paths in pathways as of date, unless they exude another path, which I'm not aware, there are 11 paths in pathways. Now, since we have done two, let's see what the leaderboard is all about. Okay, there seems to be a lot of changes in the leaderboard. We have Dan coming up at the fast rate, then we have Arnold. Okay, our district director is leading the path. And then we have team at number three. Now let's move on to the next question. And the question is, at which level in pathways does the elective start? Now, not, not simple, but not too difficult. Also, if you have done that, is it level one, level three, or level four? Five seconds to go, three, two, one. And let's see the answer. I'm impressed with all of you. 39 member got it right. So. We are doing something good in Division A and District 91. Let's hear the leaderboard. Okay. Not much changes in terms of the leaderboard, Dan. Oh, Arnold is now leading, then Dan, and then Ruth. We have a new entry in top three. All right, so we are going to the final question. Get your fingers ready. And the question number four, which it's certainly a tricky one. Let's see who can get it right. 
And the question is, the leaderboard. Up. <coughs> Let's see, I'll give it one more try, okay. All right, it's technology. Okay, which of these is not a requirement to be DTM in pathways? The options are complete two paths and DTM project, being a district officer for 12 months, participate in any two speech contest, being a club officer for 12 months or doing club sponsor speech craft. Okay, we have a got decent number who got it correct. So 22 members and let's see, is or not still the winner? And the leaderboard is going. Okay, or not you get a virtual cake from division A for winning this contest. I think you certainly are leading the district, not only in Toastmaster, but also in winning games. All right, so let's move on and talk a little bit more about pathway. So switching the screen sharing. We had some fun, so I'm not gonna repeat much, but yeah, we know we have 11 paths, including dynamic leadership, effective coaching, engaging humor, two team collaboration and visionary communication. There are five levels. Level one is fundamentals. Level two is where you get about your own style, whether it's communication or leadership and also get a, get a bit of taste about mentoring. Level three is when you increase your knowledge uh, you have some required project and then you have to play some Toastmaster, Topic Master and Evaluator. And we have a two elective projects. We're gonna talk about that in a moment. And level four is when you build on the skills and get a little bit of expertise. And then in level five, you demonstrate your expertise. Now, this is the path to getting a Pathways GTM. You complete two paths in Pathways you do club leadership being a club officer for 12 months. If you have a annual club officers, you become an officer for a year. If you have six months, then you become two times club officer. Do a project uh, on, uh, do a district leadership. We have become a club mentor or coach and then also do distinguished Toastmaster project. So let's move on. I like this way. And there's another way to represent the same thing. Uh, if anybody wants a screenshot, you can take a grab of this now. There's another slide after this that also represent how can you get pathways. So feel free to take the screenshot. And anyone who's being a club coach, I'm pretty sure you must be knowing, but if you have been a club coach ending your term on June 30th, 2019, 20 or 21, you satisfied both the club coach as well as the district leader requirement. So if you have done in past and yet to apply, please consider so. Now this is breaking. I literally saw it today morning in one of the district speech craft, which is one of the requirements in uh, Distinguished Toastmaster. We have got a digital bundle in Basecamp. That's breaking and uh, you can now uh, get the whole digital kit in $50. Uh, go to toastmaster.org and go to shop and you can search. Uh, this is amazing. People have been struggling to find how can they do speech craft virtually. Now, let's truly talk about electives. And uh, I saw Barbara talking about one of the quotes from uh, uh, earlier, two of the quotes. Now, this one is very good from John C. Maxwell, which says, life is a matter of choices and every choice you make makes you. So now we are gonna talk about what all choices do you have level three onwards. Now level three, as we just discussed, is all about increasing your knowledge. You have one required project based on the path you have selected and you have a couple of elective projects. There are in total 13 elect, uh, elective and you get a number of choices to choose from. Now let's talk a little bit about, I've taken a sample of seven uh, in next couple of slides projects and that let's see how you can help it. So delivering social speeches. This is very uh, interesting project because you can really apply it in your social gathering. 
uh, you're having a birthday party, you're having some social gathering, you can deliver and practice that. So great uh, uh, elective. Then you have presentation software. I mean, we are in virtual world. And if you're not using PPT, uh, yeah, sometimes it's close to committing a sin, if not actually committing a sin. Connect with storytelling. Now, story stories are one thing which directly goes to our unconscious mind. And if you look at the news, look at the trends, even the corporates are spending a lot of money in learning about storytelling, in having workshop about storytelling. In Pathways, you have an option where you can really go deep and learn how to deliver an unforgettable story, a, a story which people will remember long after you are given. So that's another interesting uh, uh, elective that you have. Then you have connecting with your audience where you do a lot of activities. Moving on to three more, um, prepare for interview. We know that you know, the interviews are now happening virtually and what better than Toastmasters to practice your interviewing skill. Uh, I remember, uh, I think four or five weeks back, our Zoom master kit, who is also a proud member of Basing Store Speaker, we did an interesting project where uh, one of the member, which was actually me, interviewed him about what, his, what has been his experience and how did he come over all the challenges. That was such an interesting talk and we put it on Facebook and we got so many engagements. So that's another way. Knowing your sense of humor and this probably project I have to do. My sense of humor, pretty bad. And I still need to le learn the sense of humor. So that's another elective. If you are part of engaging humor that becomes I think your mandatory project, but that's another project that you can really uh, hone your humor because humor connects human. Active listening, uh, you can also be a topic master and play this role. Very, very interesting. So this is where the fun starts to begin in terms of level three. Now let's talk a bit about level four, where you are building skills, you are getting to the expert mode and you have really, really interesting project. You have one required project based on the path that you have. And you also have one elective out of seven options. You have plenty of option to choose. I'm, I have taken four as a sample that you can do. Creating a podcast. Now, as uh, Barbara mentioned, this is something new I have been trying for this year. Uh, I started my podcast, uh, Small Town, Bigger Dream. And it's so fun to learn about podcasts and there are so many platforms. So you have a project right there in Pathways where you can learn more about podcasts, how you can do podcasts and how it can serve the larger audience even when they are not watching you. Building a social media presence. I know we have a number of sessions lined up today, so I'm not going to really stress on that. We're going to li listen a lot more about that. Manage online meetings. Uh, you can be a Toastmaster. You can play any role in an online meeting and complete the objective of this. Uh, this will really help you in your, uh, be it your work, be it your personal celebration. It was fun. And then manage projects successfully. Again, you take up a project and you take it from the conception to the execution and then you uh, present about what has been your learning uh, to the club. So very interesting project. So that was level four, where you're building skills and you're getting towards the expert level. And now let's talk about level five, where you are an expert and you are now demonstrating expertise. So you get one required project based on the path. And again, you have one elective project with a number of options. And then you have another project, which is Basically, what has been your journey? What, what did you learn? So basically, a reflect on your path. So three electives I heard. There is a club which is all about debate. So I'm pretty sure they must be utilizing this project very well in their club, moderating a panel discussion. A very interesting project. We And if you are doing any uh, panel discussion, whether it's your club, whether it's your area, uh, you're part of a TLI where you're having debate, you can get this project and it's a really interesting project. Then leading in any volunteer organization and it's not only Toastmaster, if you're part of any organization, you can do a project and then present about that. And last but not the least is the high performance leadership where you take up a project, high performance project and you deliver it. So that's a high level couple of samples from electives. Uh, the point here is if you plan it well in advance, you look at the different electives, you'll find that even though uh, you have 
a number of projects you have a number a lot more electives that you can choose and very very interesting based on if you want to do more on social media or you want to do more on podcast you want to do more on presentation or you want to do more on project management you have a number of opportunity is just about how do you plan how do you execute now is be i've been talking a lot so let's hear this is a, again a true or false question as a base camp manager which is president vice president education or secretary to get a credit in dcp distinguished class program do you just need to approve level request or do you need to do something else let's hear it in the chat false true false something else <laughs> okay i i like i really like to see what is something else <laughs> false 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 no okay that's correct most of you got it right apart from approving in base camp you also need to go to the club central and submit the award application that's when it reflects in your dcp goals this is just a reminder do not forget you have got a free path i mean you saving 20 dollars don't miss that opportunity if you have not please take and claim your free path i've taken it i've got engaging humor because you know i need to work on my sense of humor please take advantage of this now i'm going to lead you we have another interesting session but one of the requirement to be a distinguished toastmaster is about leadership where you serve one at your club level you become an officer and serve a uh, tenure of 12 months or 2 6 months but another is about being a district officer which is area direct area director division director and other district director and other uh, trio and some other leadership roles i am really excited for you to attend this session stepping up to area director level is going to be really really interesting i'm really looking forward to so with that i've come towards the end of my presentation and I, we can probably take a few questions uh, related to elective uh, and then we can probably wrap up that's correct or not only one have taken and here we need to enforce it again and again so you have any question feel free to unmute yourself or put it in chat Hi, I have a question. Yes, sir. Um, so, when the, about the free pathways, uh, mm -hmm. is it available only for? Uh, is it an additional to the one we have for renewing of membership, or is it the same? Uh, yeah. So, if yeah. you have renewed your membership before October thirtieth, uh, you get an opportunity to have additional paths. So, even if you have one or two paths, you can take another. and i believe this is correct but if it is wrong please feel free to uh, chime in okay okay thank you thank you sorry i have a, I have a question if i could um i find that, um it, i i'm not very good on technology and okay i have an ipad i have a um i was used to the manuals under the previous uh, system mm -hmm. and i'm finding difficult with this new system but i like your two uh, screens at the start which um demonstrated the different areas of, mm -hmm. of pathways would it be possible to email the, that that maybe sure. everybody else would gain from that but i certainly would gain sure uh, definitely but... definitely put in your email in the chat or send it a personal iam uh, or i will uh, i'm also putting my email address in here and uh, you can uh, drop me an email i'll be more than happy to share the presentation with you um okay i i think my email was registered when i i, I started but okay i'll i'll get that yeah good point yeah. i'll Thank get you. that from uh, the registration team and we'll Thanks mail the appreciate Thank it Thank you i've got a question uh, yes. i recently joined toastmaster and i wanted to know if i if i am also eligible for free pathways uh when exactly did you join it will depend on that uh, october okay uh that's a good question uh we'll probably have to check with uh, 
club leadership or ti or if somebody knows please put it in chat if somebody has joined in october will they get a free pass or not i have a question please is there any thought or research in why the uptake of the three pathway is so low uh can you repeat the question sorry i didn't get that is there any thought or research gone into yet why it's only one in five that are taking up the three pathway offer that's a good question i <laughs> uh, i'm not sure i i am the person to answer that but my guess would be that um, it's more about uh, advertising and letting people know that such a thing is available uh, so since all the club most of the club officers are here i think i would probably tell you all to you no know, advertise it to your club officer that would be a great incentive for them uh, to tell them that okay you have the path and don't wait till march 31st 9 pm to claim that you can claim it right away you don't have to wait till that can i ask a question haritosh yes kevin uh, just regarding the club officer uh, requirement for dtm if you have been a club office a district officer sorry once Mm -hmm. and got a dtm and you're doing a second dtm do you need to be a district officer again or if you've been one once does that count for for all future pathways now that's a good question kevin so the number of times you want to become a dtm the number of times you have to be a district officer uh, so ti has a record of you no know, if your uh, credit has been used uh, if you are once a district officer uh, it might have been used for your previous or traditional uh, dtm and now you might need to serve once again as a district officer to get pathway seat um hi haritosh hi, I, I was interested in what you said about um your life is about choices and your choices make you which mm -hmm. i thought was a part of the the premise of your presentation am i correct in saying that i'd be interested just to hear you say um a little bit more about that relating to pathways like how you choose on pathways and the consequences of that sort of thing sure uh, that's a really really good question thank you philip for bringing it up <laughs> so uh, you have, when you have a number of choices uh, it's very difficult to choose what you want to do and that's where you would like to get back and see what you want to do for example uh, i want to be a better presenter i want to be a good st storyteller so when i see an elective about uh, storytelling that's probably going to be the first one that uh, i want to choose if for example i am a project manager and i see a project about managing projects successfully uh, the my my natural inclination should be towards uh, taking that elective because that is going to help me in my career so it it all goes back to uh, why you have joined toastmaster and what do you expect out of it if you expect it to be better, better presenter uh, you'll choose uh, projects accordingly electives accordingly you want to be a better leader better manager uh, you'll choose your projects accordingly the beauty is that you have so many options uh, that you you can choose based on what you want to take question uh, yes <laughs> me oh. Just looking to the future and looking to where we are today and look at all these aspiring people on the screen. I just, uh, I'm fascinated why we don't have a pathway for the aspiring retired. I've been retired for 10, 15 years. I've been a Toastmaster for about 12 years. I've never worked in being a Toastmaster. And I mm -hmm. do it for my mental health and to get that odd buzz and tell me with the voluntary work that I'm involved with. And I, and I think in this, this day is where we are now and everybody's struggling with their to a degree, stress and mental health. I just think there's a screaming opportunity for Toastmasters to have a, a an aspiring retired or retired pathway, just designed to help them think, get a bit of adrenaline going and maybe prepare them in a general way to volunteering and things like that. Uh, that's uh, a great as thought. A, as another Gavin, I definitely support that, uh, particularly as I'm now into my 80th year. Oh, wow, congratulations. <laughs> I think, yeah, uh, Doug, to answer, I mean, it's, I believe it was more of uh, opinion, which I truly admit. I'll probably not say it retired uh, because some people take it in not in the positive way, but definitely I see, as I see in Pathways currently, we do have something called visionary communication where you know, people who have been 
there who have experience i think they can really utilize that pathway but you have a valid uh, viewpoint and i would really suggest that you uh, you write an email or get it through the club leadership to uh, uh, toastmaster i am pretty sure that they would really look into making it even more interesting thank you for that i hope i've done that <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, we are into last one minute so thank you so much uh, you have been a great audience and there are so many different sessions that are coming don't miss out on that i'm really looking forward to the social media and the speechcraft one what about you thank you so much